welcome. My name is Boren Nielsen with Random Wire Tech, and we are looking at Unity 2017.1's new feature, the Timeline Editor. This thing is awesome. And so let's go ahead and just jump right in without further ado. And I apologize for that. That was that was interesting, right? Um, so if you would like your, your windows to look like mine, I have the wide, I mean, excuse me, the tall layout. To get the Timeline Editor, you go Window, Timeline Editor, and you get it just like this. I'm going to drag it down here so that we can see the scene and the timeline at the same time. You need an object to be able to create a timeline, so I have this. Be careful what you select as you click around the screen. So I just want this insectoid high polygon thing selected. I hit Create, and then you can create a timeline. So just name it whatever you want to. And there you go, it's created. You'll see it automatically propagates it. It adds an animator and a playable director to the object that was selected. Uh, the playable director lets you select which timeline to use. So if you have multiple timelines, you can kind of load those via script, or you can, if you turn off plan awake, you can you can play this when events happen. So it's an extremely powerful event that as you start to mix code with it as well, it gets more and more powerful. But even without code, uh, as I'm gonna show you today, it's very useful. So let's just go ahead and resize this here. Uh, be careful as you as you click around because if you click off of the object, it'll, it'll delete this. There's a lot of different options, but we're only gonna be using the animation track. So don't worry about the audio track or the control track or anything like that. We're just using the animation track today. Now, what you can do is I'm going to go ahead and lock this first of all, so that if I accidentally click off of it, it's not going to do anything. So there you go. And then I can drag and drop animations like you saw right there. I have this slow walk. So as I scrub through this, it'll actually slowly be walking. So let's go ahead and look at that. So you can see that slow walks working like that. If you drag and pull this, if it is a looped animation, it'll continue to loop this and it'll show you how many times it loops. So it's one, two, three, four, etc. You can also click right here. I'm going to change this to seconds. So it's not showing frames, but showing seconds. So this is going to be right. There would be one second and over here would be more. And now you can actually drag and drop more animation. So I have the sting animation. So it's going to walk then sting, but you can kind of see that it was jerky, right? It was like walk then sting. If you just drag that sting, it'll kind of merge these. The farther you merge it, the more smooth it's going to be. And so there we go. We have this animation. I'm going to hit record. Oh, actually, no, this is, these are not what I want to do. So I'm going to create a new animation track. Here we go. Going to go ahead and drag and drop the same insectoid here. So right there, just drag and drop. And now I'm going to hit record. Now, as I move this, it'll actually record the transformation. So if I want to move it forward, because it's walking, let's move it to where I want it. So right there. And you'll see, as I play this, it walks and then stings. So that's very cool, right? You can increase or decrease it. So that sting was a little too fast for me. So I'm going to half that speed. And there you go. It walks and then stings. Make that a little bit smoother. And that is the fundamentals of the editor. The second part of this tutorial, we're going to be talking about a more complex scene. So kind of what we want to do is we want to make a scene with three insectoids. One where it maybe climbs up this roof here, then waits, another one that climbs over here and waits, and then a third one over here that kind of comes and knocks over some barrels. So we're gonna be talking about how to actually animate more than just the insectoid too. We're also gonna be animating that. So this is gonna be really fun. Let's go ahead and delete this guy right here though. And let's drag and drop a new insectoid into the scene and put it about where we want it. So we said we want it to climb up the roof right here. So it's gonna just rotate that right there kind of set it up the way you want it at the very start. Now you notice that we need a new timeline, so let's create a new timeline. I'm gonna call this insectoid group or something along those lines. There we go. Now what you what you typically would do is you'd create one animation timeline for this thing and then create one animation timeline for the next insectoid and one animation timeline for the third one because what you would do with that is if this was a first person shooter and you shot one of these things, you could actually just by script and the animator. Um, but we don't have that functionality, so it really doesn't matter. I'm gonna go ahead and block out the information here. So I'm gonna move him up to the top there at one second. And then, oh, I forgot to put the initial animation there. So move it up there. The, the fundamental principle of animation is to kind of do the big motions first. So you'll see me be doing this. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it kind of over the roof there. So it's gonna, run up, uh, 
turn. I don't, I'm trying to figure out how many degrees of that is probably close to 270 degrees. And then he's going to just run over to the edge right here and wait. And so each of these I'm just blocking out and then I can go back and kind of smooth this out so it doesn't look so messy. Because as I scrub this, you can see it's going through the roof right there, obviously. And you don't want that. Also, the turn doesn't look natural and it's kind of going sideways, all almost as if it's strafing. So we'll fix all of that. So let's go ahead and look right here. The turning animation is the biggest thing that's getting me, so I'm gonna try and fix that. And so it comes up here and it turns way too fast. So I'm gonna double click this, open up that, uh, the dope sheet. I don't know what they call this in Unity. Now, oh, looking a little bit better. Still kind of wanna drag this a little bit more, make it a little bit more subtle. So right there. And then I'm gonna fix the top. So I'm, I'm liking how this looks. Let's go over here, scrub over. Yep, yep, that's good. So the next thing is right here at the top, go to right there where it's kind of clipping through the material and we can pull him up. So again, going along those same lines, you do the basic block out shapes and then you can go through and refine it so it looks better and better and better. So like this, let's see how that looks. Looks pretty good. Double click it, maybe make it a little bit slower. I deleted the, there we go. Yep, so he comes here, over here. You see he's going to the roof now, so we need to add a transformation. So I'm gonna select that, rotate him, and kind of pull him up over the roof like that. And that looks really good, actually. He kind of comes and positions himself over the roof, and then over. If you go to game view, this is a cool little trick, and hit play, you can see what it looks like. So he comes up, and then you can see him, so that's really good. I'm gonna go ahead and combine this window here so I don't have to keep clicking it. I'm going to move it, I don't like it right there, maybe down here. There we go. So now I can see the timeline and the animator at the same time. So it's gonna be faster to edit as I go. Goes up and over and it's, yep, that's what I want. Now you'll, you'll see that he kind of goes back in game, it'll actually stop at that last frame, so he'll stay there at the edge. I'm gonna create a new animation here, and I'm gonna drag and drop that walk animation. I'm gonna do a quick walk animation. And as I scrub this, you'll see it's not repeating. That's because it's not looped for whatever reason. So I'm gonna to go to that animation, click it, so quick walk, enable loop, and apply that. And now as I scrub that, you can see it actually loops the different animations. So that's good. Ooh, I, I really like what that looks like as well. So now I'm also, once he gets there, I want him to idle. So I'm gonna drag and drop that. And so as he plays, it kind of idles. I don't like the speed of the idle. And so I'm gonna right click this and do speed, half speed, it's too fast. And then I could scrub this as well and get more loops. So that's the first insectoid. Let's go ahead and go back to our scene and create the second insectoid. So I'm gonna drag him right up here where I want him. Uh, create a new animation, drag and drop him there and then do the same thing. So I'm just gonna block out the animations. So let's go ahead and have him right about here to start with, just here on this roof. Now what I want to do is I want him to start walking after the first insectoid. So it's not both of them are moving at the same place and, and finish at the same time. I want one to kind of start and then the second one to start. So I'm gonna go ahead and record him, uh, create this animation here, and I'm just gonna copy this. So scrub forward to a couple seconds right there. And then just give him another keyframe or you can just select this, Control C, Control V, and it'll just duplicate that right there. I'm gonna zoom out here with the middle mouse button. Zoom out a lot, apparently this thing was zoomed in a ton. And then I want him to walk. So maybe one second or two seconds, give or take. I want him right about here at that time. So again, I'm just doing that the, the basic animations and I can smooth it out later. And so if I just play this, you can see he kind of floats there as opposed to turning and, and moving up there. And then I want him to come down to the edge here. Let's go ahead and zoom this over. Go ahead and rotate that and 
right about there. So now as I scrub, I can see I can see it's kind of floating. I'm going to look in game, see what that looks like. This guy comes up, this guy comes up. I really like that. That's looking exactly how I want that. So go back into our scene, go ahead and go in between these two keyframes and kind of make this more smooth. So zoom in here and make them actually fit the path right there. So the correct rotation and the correct position and then do the same thing coming up here, rotate it a little bit. So he comes and he rotates. Rotation's a little weird right here, so I'm gonna fix that. And that's looking pretty good. Let's play this. So he comes up, moves over. A little too fast of a turn right there. So right there, I'm going to go ahead and select the keyframe and move that. So it's gonna be a little bit slower. I like that. And so it, it's kind of just a playing with it, seeing what works for you, what doesn't work. I'm gonna create a new animation track here and then throw in that quick walk and idle just like I did the old one. So find that quick walk, drag it over here like that. I guess you don't wanna start with a quick walk because he doesn't start moving. So move it to where he starts moving and then do this. You're not gonna see that, but if the player could move, I might do an idle animation there. So the player never saw the thing just, you know, not moving. You can copy and paste this and then just drag that idle. So then it also idles just like that. So in game, let's go ahead and watch this. First one crawls over, second one crawls over, and then they just wait. And then I want this third one to come in right here. You know all the basics and this next part took a long time. So I'm just gonna go ahead and increase the speed to a thousand times. What I'm gonna do here is basically, I'm gonna just take these barrels and I'm gonna make a stack of them. So I think there's going to be about four barrels stacked on top of one another like that. And then I'm gonna create this new insectoid, create an animation for him, and then basically do the same thing with the, with the animation. Just have him start one place and then run in and hit right here. Now we can do the same thing with all the barrels as you see me doing right there. I'm creating new animations for each one of these barrels. So as this insectoid comes and hits, these barrels are going to fall which is really cool. So you can do a lot of very impressive things. If you have an animation of somebody walking into a room and picking something up, you don't have to have both of those animated at the same time. You can actually just move whatever they pick up with that animation. So here I have these barrels coming and moving and I'm just kind of testing this out. I have this animation where he walks and then I'm actually adding a die animation. So as he hits that, he kind of just falls out. That's quite a fun little animation there. Now, it's not exactly where I want it, so this is a hard thing. If you don't plan it very, very wisely, you have to go through all these barrels and then re remove them individually. So as you can see this, all the barrels are gonna fall over at the wrong time, so I have to go into the animation and move the, the uh, keyframes individually, and then I have it. Let's go ahead and look at what this looks like as a finalized version. I added the textures to the, the enemies, and they climb up there, and that thing just goes and falls. Love it. Thank you so much for watching this. If you would like that insectoid model, we have that available for our gold tier Patreon supporters. As always, follow us on Twitter, subscribe, like this video, and comment below.